Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Math Olympiad and ISI CMI Entrance Number Theory. This video is created at Chinta.com. My name is Oshuni Dashgupta. As you know, Chinta has outstanding programs on ISI CMI entrances, mathematical olympiads like IOQM, American Math Competitions and so on. You can check the link in the description for more details. Today, we will solve a very exciting problem. This problem says that k times n factorial k times n factorial is divisible by k factorial to the power n. Grab a pen and paper and let's start solving this problem. First of all, if you do not know what is a factorial, 5 factorial or 5 with an exclamation mark after it simply means 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5. It's a shorthand way of writing this product, 5 factorial. Okay, So, let's write k times n factorial and divide it by k factorial to the power n. And we will expand this. So, to expand this, first of all, the denominator, we will just write it as k factorial times k factorial up to n times. That is exactly what k factorial to the power n is, right? And then we will also simplify the numerator. So the numerator will be like this. So let me write this as n times n times. And the numerator will be 1 times 2 times up to k and then k plus 1 times k plus 2 times up to 2k and it will go on like this up to n minus 1k plus 1 times nk n times k okay so what i have just done is that i have split this numerator into smaller pieces into smaller pieces each of which is a product of k consecutive integers each each piece is a product of k consecutive integers integers right so how does that help us well what we will do is we will write the fraction into several parts so the first one is like this one times two times up to k divided by k factorial times let's use another part this is k plus 1 times k plus 2 up to 2k divided by k factorial like this we will go on until the last part okay so the last part is n plus n minus 1k plus 1 up to nk divided by k factorial so each of these fractions or each of these pieces if i can show each of them is an integer then the product will be an integer right because if i can show each of them is an integer then product of integers is also integer. Remember what we have to show? We have to show that k times n factorial is divisible by k factorial to the power n. So we have to basically show 
that this fraction is not really a fraction, it's an integer. Okay, how do we go about showing it? So I will write the structure of each of each piece. Structure of each piece. The numerator is a product of k consecutive integers. And the denominator is just 1 times 2 times up to k, right? So it's, it's k for k factorial. That's what every piece is. The numerator is a product of k consecutive numbers and the denominator is just k factorial. So if we can show that this is an integer, then I am done. If we can show that this is an integer, then I am done. So how do we go about showing it? Well, first of all, let's look at an example whether this actually works. Let's work with k equal to 5. We take 5 consecutive integers and divide it by 5 factorial and we will check if, it's, if that's an integer. So suppose the 5 consecutive integers are 7 times 8 times 9 times 10 times 11. So these are 7 consecutive numbers, their product. And we will divide it by 5 factorial, which is this. And let's see if that exactly divides it or not. So 5 times 2 divides 10, 4 divides 8, and 3 divides 9. So we are left out with 7 times 9 times 11, which is an integer. So yeah, it works for this example. But we have to show it in the general case. That product of k consecutive integers is divisible by k factorial. So let's see how we can do that. So let's write it down in the general case. So let's take product, product of k consecutive numbers starting at r plus 1. So r plus 1 up to r plus k. So this is just a product of k consecutive numbers. And divide that by 1 times 2 times up to k. That's k factorial. Okay? So, why is this an integer? So, we will do a bit of manipulation. What we will do is, we, in the numerator and denominator, we will multiply the same thing. So, we will multiply... 1 times 2 times 3 up to r in the numerator. And we will multiply 1 times 2 times up to r in the denominator. So we did not change the fraction. We just simply introduced this and this term. They would just cancel off and we would have the same thing. So this fraction and the previous fraction are actually the same thing. We just introduced the same thing in the top and the bottom, multiplied it out, so we would we did not change anything. So now what is the numerator? The numerator is r plus k factorial. Because it's one times two times up to r, r plus one, r plus two up to r plus k. That's simply r plus k factorial. And the denominator is r factorial times k factorial r factorial times k factorial so this quantity is uh, an integer why why well i will give you one hint and then i'll ask you to give me the final line of the solution in the comment section. There is a formula of n choose m 
that is the number of ways of choosing m things out of n things this is the number of ways of choosing m things out of n things which is an integer which is an integer right of course the number of ways of choosing n things out of n things is an integer and the formula of it is n factorial by m factorial times n minus m factorial here's a bit of combinatorics going on so looking at this can you tell me why this is an integer and if this is an integer now product of k consecutive numbers divided by k factorial is an integer so each of these pieces will be an integer and you will be done one last thing that i would like to comment is that if you are in the math olympiad program at chidda or if you are in the isi cmi entrance program at chidda please make sure to attend the five days a week five days a week problem solving workshop Good. some in some batches it is four four days a week so five or four days a week workshop it's extremely important that you do that because historically most success most success comes out of these workshops students who attend these workshops regularly they are the most successful in these mathematical olympiads isi cmi entrances last year we had i think seven successes in iqm four successes in inmo and 11 eight to nine successes in uh, isi cmi entrances and 11 successes in american math competitions and all of these students attended the problem solving workshops regularly so make sure you do that i will see you in the next video give give a comment about the final answer and keep on doing great mathematics bye